We're going to call to order today the Historic Preservation Commission regular meeting, Monday, September 12th, 2022 at 5.30 p.m. Public comments? No? Okay. Roll call. Uh, yeah, let's do roll call. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I've already accounted no. for who was here, but that's okay. Yeah. Joe Chapel. Here. Nathan Turner. Here. Maneka Gibbs. Here. Valerie Duncan. Here. Daryl Covington. Here. Aaron Rooney. Present. Adam Rock. Here. All right. All seven are here. Is this probably the first time in two years we've had everyone here? It's been a little while. I don't know about two years. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, anybody look at the minutes? Everybody approve? Everybody look at the minutes? Chance to look at it? I think there's a few people that were not here, but. I make a motion to approve. A second. Okay. Who's second? Oh. Nathan. Nathan. All right, Joe Chapel. Yes. Nathan Turner. Yes. Valerie Duncan. Yes. Daryl Covington. Yes. Aaron Rooney. Yes. And Adam Roth. Yes. Okay, item agenda number four, HPC application 22-008, discussion and potential action on our request for a certificate of appropriateness for a new, is it Mansard canopy? Yeah, building paint, additional brick on retaining wall, a new CNC eatery window signage for a building located at 223 South Division Street. Got a staff report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I think I kind of understood what was going on, but I'll have the applicant to ask, answer any questions. Uh, but this is the uh, little building that's over off a of division where um, Simone's recently uh, was. Now they have a CNC eatery. The owner uh, would like to do, uh, as you saw in the introduction, some uh, improvements to the building. Uh, it has. Um, uh, a wall that's on the uh, south side of the property. Uh, a couple of the things like the wall and that would fall under minimum maintenance and repair, but I threw it in there just because we're having to go to HPC anyway, just so they knew the, you guys would know the full extent of what was going on. Uh, also, the uh, signage, window signage for the current business, CNC eatery that's in there. Um, essentially, staff really didn't have any concern with anything other than the metal mansard uh, that they had proposed. Uh, the options may be limited, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Uh, the applicant can kind of speak. Uh, generally, uh, metal is not uh, something that is in our design guidelines except as decorative metal. And in fact, even the uh, the Division Street corridor that we have uh, that's outside the historic district wouldn't even allow that type of metal uh, on it in that. So anyway, that will probably be a point of discussion to see what options are there. But as far as the paint color and uh, the signage and all that, that was all pretty well fitting for the district as well as the signage appropriate size. Uh, I'll just add that it is a more modern building. It's not a contributing resource building, so that always helps in some of these decisions uh, in that. So with that, I'll leave it back to the commission. If you have any uh, questions, uh, then you can uh, ask the applicant. Okay, we we'll to open up for discussion. Tell me about the, 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 the metal isn't allowed on the South Division? Not on the front, no. Well, actually, it can only be 10%. Yeah, on uh, Noble and Division now. Everything else has to be something uh, that's other than metal. Uh, outside Division, you can have up to the 60% like it's always been, but we created that corridor on uh, Division to where the front had to be 60%, at least red brick. And then the other 40% had to be something, uh, whether it be masonry, sandstone, something like that. And then overall, the most you could have for metal was 10%. And it was more to have like probably um, window cover, you know, little canopies over the window that be metal and that. And yeah, awnings and that. Awnings yeah, awnings. but it wasn't intended to have actual part of a building facade or roof to have metal. So 
So it doesn't look like the, the, the front of this building as the roof line, it doesn't look like it goes all the way around. Is there an exact measurement as to the percentage that this roof goes all the way around? It looks like it's missing on part of it. Were you wanting to use metal just across the front or all the way around? Is the applicant here? Yes, oh, I was yeah. going to say the applicant can help. Yeah. Can yeah. you uh, yeah. Yeah. just state your name and I'm your address? I'm Greg Richardson, my wife Tina Richardson. We have the building and it's leased to CNC Eatery. So we, we want to uh, update the building. There's some brick obviously missing and we want to just replace that. The option to paint is in the event that we don't really get a good match as they patch the brick in there. So we would keep the brick color somewhat the same and just make everything kind of look consistent. On the roof, the cedar shake shingles that have been there for so many years, um, from my understanding, we, we were working with Red River Roofing to get a bid on that. And at the time that we were looking at the bid, cedar shakes were in short supply. And I don't know if that's a supply chain <coughs> issue still at this point. So we, we talked about options. You know, we, we wanna go with a black roof, mansard if you will. And whether that's metal, whether it's whatever options we have, that's, that's what we'd like to do. Um, the, the mansard roof, if I'm not mistaken, wraps around the front and the north and south end, obviously not the back side. Uh, metal would be much lighter uh, when you go to do the install versus any kind of comp shingle of, of some sort. Um, and we're just looking at something that would have a finish that would last 20, 30 years, you know, before it starts really fading and, and such. If I, real quick, do you know, I'm talking to the applicant, do they have a metal that would essentially mimic the shingle but is actually metal? The only thing I'm aware of at that stage is if you do a, an aluminum wrap around the cedar shakes themselves. Okay. I've seen that in the past. I'm not a roofing contractor by no means, but yeah, and that's I've why I was just that. curious too. And I know some of it becomes rather expensive yeah. when you get in. I was just curious if you knew. Dan, is the decorative metal uh, be in compliance if it was a decorative shake? Uh, yeah, and that's kind of what I was asking if metal. it. If it's, I know that's available. It yeah. I, I don't sure, know the sure. price. And, and that's the thing. I mean, per the guidelines, and obviously you guys have the final decision, I don't think metal is inherently that bad of an option if we can get it to look or be compatible for the district. You know, what I'm afraid of is we just get corrugated metal, you know, almost like a barn roof type thing and paint it and call it good. Yeah, I don't no, think, yeah, yeah we don't want that. Yeah, uh, very but a nicer, modern. even raised seam metal may not be bad. The best case scenario would be, as you indicated, if you could get a metal that appeared to be shingle or appeared to have a, a you know, more of the roof and just didn't clearly look like, again, a, a piece of, of metal. Yeah. But you're saying that they even have metal prefabs that are made to look identical. Sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. And again, I don't know what the cost is, if it's cost prohibitive or not. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. That's why I was kind of asking. I think it's fairly costly, but yeah, I'm not yeah, aware yeah. of it. Yeah. So would I have another option? I mean, yeah. if you're yeah. going to allow that, is a comp roof, is that optional? Well, also, you know, there, there are shingle-appearing siding materials that would also cover the mansard mm -hmm. that would last for years, you know, whether it be, you know, the smart siding or or something along that line, or even, or even a cement board, that they would still have a shingle appearance. Yeah. You know, everybody makes, sure. they, a lot of people make that. I yeah. say not everybody. Right. Well, I know the yeah. concrete board's pretty heavy. So we were looking at something sure. to be fairly light up there, but wind resistant, et cetera. But, right. so, yeah, I, and it's obviously good that the improvements are going to be made because, yeah, it, it needs it. So it's like, don't want to discourage it, but we again want to make sure it becomes compatible with the district. And if it were just a small portion, I don't think it would be a big deal. But it, as we talked, it's three of the four sides uh, of it, so there's a decent amount of it that is there. Yeah. So you haven't purchased any materials yet for the job. No, so, I'm, I'm uh, awaiting your approval. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we're having a new roof. There's a new roof that should be installed within the next week on the okay. flat part of it. Good. Uh, next week or so. But at that time, once we get your approval, we want to really update the outside of that building and make it look like it should. Okay. Will. Yeah. It's, and the, it's in pretty rough shape. Yeah. The reason I asked, I'm in the construction business too, and I totally understand the supply chain issues. Okay. And. Uh, 
you know, going just from Lowe's to Home Depot and Edmond, you can end up with totally different prices on, on materials. So I guess my point being is if the opportunity would come along to replace the seal, that roof economically with shakes, that would still be an option? Yeah, sure, definitely. I mean, I don't know if the, the shakes are going to be a long, as long-term, you know, fix, and maybe they are. Yeah. Uh, but if it has to be cedar shakes and we can get that, so yeah. I'm open to that. But mainly we want to do it nice yeah. for a reasonable yeah. price. Right. We, we, we want to make the building presentable in a long-term fix to where hopefully it's, it's maintenance yeah. reasonable. But honestly, could you, could you put a shake roof on any building in downtown no. Guthrie? Yeah, no. Uh, in, in, in terms of a true shake roof, I mean, if you had it more like kind of that, I wouldn't call that a true shake roof. It's more of, of a wooden shingle type thing uh, in that. Because actually our design standards, even on the residential side in that, prohibit that type of roofing. But I don't know if you can have a true shake roof because there's well, I mean, a... You know, this is just my thought on this. Yeah. We were talking about doing something that's historically appropriate for downtown when the building isn't. Yeah. Right? So, to me, um, and that's just me talking, it's just, you know, buildings in the historic district need to be looked at individually. I mean, you're talking about 150 year old or 120 year old building. Um, and we do have some metal awnings downtown, which probably should have never happened. Yeah, that was in the bad but urban renewal happened. area. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because it's a 120-year-old building. Dark ages. And your building has never, it, it's, it's not historically significant. It doesn't historically contribute to uh, but downtown. It doesn't detract, though, either. Pardon me? It said it doesn't detract. No. no. That's no. what we want to do. But, you know, I mean, you bring up a good point in that that was one of the, con I, I guess, concerns or issues I had with our current design guidelines is when the district was set up, there should have been two basically categories. There should have been the National Historic Landmark District in design requirements and the surrounding historic district in design guidelines. When the code was set up, we weren't a National Historic Landmark District yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> But that's where we should go now because it would make it a lot easier on this because you're absolutely right. It's hard to say this building has the same significance as a building on Oklahoma, but all our standards go under the same umbrella. Let's see, I, can't we create an exception to that? I mean, can't, can rules be changed, I guess? Well, no, that's what I was saying. The best case would be to update our, our design guidelines to have essentially two areas. Here's a, a perfect example is like Ash Street Place Assisted Living, which is catacorned to the library. They got new windows and uh, they were approved and they're in the historic district. The building was built in the 50s, so it's a very contemporary looking building. And the windows that were put in that building would not be appropriate for the buildings, the other right. buildings. And I just feel like this building falls into that category. No, it definitely does, and a lot of them along there do. And and also, you know, you can call this a roof, but it's really sort of an awning, yeah, all the way around. Yeah, it's not structural. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not structural. Really, you could yes. take it off and put it so on. So I don't roof know how like having just, just get rid of that. I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if maybe, I guess it's but to me, <laughs> this would be no different than allowing a metal awning on a building on South Division. I'm usually the stickler here, but in this particular case, I think we ought to make an exception. I think we, I, well, I, we need to use common yeah. sense. Well, if you look in the, I, I, don't, I don't think that, I, but I don't want to do this. If you no, look no. In the, yeah. Look in the say, photograph. Well, then uh, it's Which acceptable photograph? in the historic well, district and the historic buildings. Right, and we're not saying that. We're saying we're not saying that. Let's well, no, look, right. In, let's in, look at the photograph where the building to the north roof is. Visible, yeah. That is, I can't tell if that's wood or composition. That's it's shaped. It looks like the same. It's shaped too. You mean the China Shake. Garden building? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's our yeah. building as it's well. In it's, here. It's, it's in this It's also shaped. It's in good shape. And I think we're yeah. just talking about. So later on, we would want to marry those looks together. Yeah. I think. So oh, you have that building as well. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. But uh, but when you're talking metal, that covers a whole a lot of different styles. Yes. So we need to determine what style well, of metal. I think, 
That was kind of my that concern. Is not right. I don't inherently have a problem with metal. I just, again, didn't want like some corrugated metal looking thing to show up on there. <laughs> well, I mean, not to say that they would, but. Right. Well, you yeah. like the shed, the yeah. shed metal. Yeah. 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 Right. It's yeah. not going to be the old rounded. Right. Right. What the 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 what chair, metal they would have to corrugate it somewhat. You what know, metal were you? In it, but. What metal were you proposing? Well, I work in an industry where I supply coatings, and I, and I work directly with a company called Alliance Steel, and they. They form their own metal and they build, they supply to building contractors, you know. Well, in I mean, you talk, were you talking standard seam or? Well, it would be a standard, yeah, it would, I guess, a seam with a, and it would have a rail on the top and a rail on the bottom. Sure. And it would be charcoal or as dark a black as I could get. And, and would it look like you would see in these fancy is? buildings? Yeah. Yes. Would it be similar, similar to that? Yes, sir. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. Because there is raised seam, but it's again, it's considered more corrugated because it has some kind of lines in it. It's typically what you see on barns, like on, on a barn roof type of thing. On a barn where, though, yeah, where the raised right? seam like that is more, it, it doesn't have any imprints. It has obviously the, uh, you know, the raised seam, but the rest of it is just yeah. a nice flat. And, and so in that, appearance, it's not that. It's black. But going yeah. forward, it's, this it's black. Not it's not gray. Yeah. 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 Well, no. Again, let me clarify. I don't like paint. to use the word exception because it sounds like <laughs> I'm a code guy. Years or so. What you're doing is finding that metal, given this portion of the district, would be compatible versus an exception. Because, you know, probably as you talked, downtown on Oklahoma or uh, Harrison, if somebody wanted to put that type of roofing on their building or that, we probably would say no, hopefully. But, even yeah. as a, even, <laughs> but even, with these buildings. Even as a canopy. Right, that's what I mean, yeah. yeah. But given the location in that, so that's, you know, again, something maybe down the road we can work, with, work to in the design standards is to break that out so it's even clearer to say, yeah, this area is different than our downtown yeah. area. It's the, yeah. So it's the radius pulse. I think you start downtown and then it pulses out and then you get kind of like a bullseye dartboard where you have little zones the further you go out i think that's what you were kind of saying earlier yeah because i i right. actually have a somewhat updated hpc ordinance there and i was calling the area downtown the core and then like this area the periphery and they would have different requirements that's classy yeah that's nice yeah <laughs> and this building i think built in the early 70s yeah probably i was going to say it, it even like yeah that's that. pretty it ancient like, it was a gas station yeah. <laughs> but there are some historically significant Thanks, buildings <laughs> on the south division like yeah the, there are a couple they said like the age. old depot oh and, yeah definitely yeah. you know so i mean um but because of the i'll never have modern building, travel I have, but i think that since valerie's good with it we need to run with it i know right <laughs> <laughs> i would appreciate it before that. she changes her mind don't talk her out of her decision okay and i'm moving. okay but just just to make sure on the record it is because it is not a historical building and it is and it lies without of the it lies with outside of the downtown zone just to be clear so when this mm -hmm. somebody comes in yeah. on Oklahoma Avenue and wants to do the same thing. Division does right. the same thing. We're, we're on the record for saying that. Okay. Cool. Anybody want and to? And then the other things that you're going to do, you're at, you're raising that cement wall. Yeah, there's a lot of the blocks that are missing over yeah. time, so we just want to level that out at the highest off. point where the clean cap's at, and then bring it back to color. And painting the back of the building is going to definitely. help a lot. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So what is this place again? It's leased to a lady that has C and C eatery, so it's more like. Hmm? It's food. It's good. Yeah, it's food. Yeah. So I think she does gourmet hot dogs, but I think. Uh, I yeah, their brisket so. sandwich yeah. and some oh, other stuff. Really I'd highly serious. recommend it. Are we approving the signs? Yes. Okay. We are going to do that. Okay. No, it, it's yeah, part it's, of the application. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I have no. My personally have no problem with the sign. No, because it's uh, one third, which is allowed by the design standards for windows. And it's similar to what we recently approved for a couple others. I make a motion to approve. All right. You have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Who is the second? Me. Rooney. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for fixing our town. Fixing it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Fix our town. Yeah. Joe Chapel. Yes. Nathan Turner. Yes. Maneka Gibbs. Yes. Valerie Duncan. Yes. Daryl Covington? Yes. Aaron Rooney? Yes. 
And Adam Rock. Yes. All right, 7 0. Okay. No. Uh, item number five, HPC application 22009. Discussion and potential action on a request for a certificate of appropriateness for a new door entry canopy with business logo and signage for a building located at 324 East Oklahoma Avenue. Staff report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Another building that, similar to the one we have, a more modern building, but yet within the historic district. But these are also exciting yeah. for me because now we got a building that otherwise had nothing in it and we have something going in it. So anyway, this is the newer Rose Ring building uh, off of Oklahoma. Uh, as you'll see in the application, uh, there's a gym that's going to be going in there, and so they would like to put a canopy over the front entrance uh, in that, and it would extend out a little bit. I forgot I had the measurements in there. Uh, but it would be black, and then it would have the logo uh, and the name of the gym on it. Uh, it's... Um, so, whoops, I had the wrong one. So based on that, staff didn't really uh, have any issue. I think a canopy over the front entrance would probably be a nice asset. So the applicant is here if you have any questions. Yeah, come up and tell us about your project. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't care about this. We just yeah. want to get it <laughs> You've got some free TV time. Well, this is Janet Elheim, who's my partner, and uh, I'm Marie Vernon. We have uh, Circle F Gym Spa Cafe that uh, we hope to be opening the gym part this week and the uh, spa and cafe in October. Uh, it's a 9,000 square foot building, as y'all may know, and about 7,000 square feet but squ square feet will be, oh, there I am, I can't, just, I can't look at that, <laughs> uh, will be <laughs> um, used as um, what we're using, 2,000 square feet are storage. But uh, the, um, we so need an awning out front. It had one before. Uh, I, I never saw it, but you can see that it was there. So when we saw that, we thought we'd put it back. Touché. And we have our logo on there with, with just the cafe, shops, and gym. And we have to put an additional sign in the back that says Circle F Gym. That's, that's our company name, Circle F. You can have dots in between the words. That's not an HPC thing, I'm just wondering. Uh, no. Is this going to say cafe, like shops, should... gym? Well, yeah. <laughs> Would you put, we can put dots. No, no, this is not like an HPC <laughs> thing. I'm just wondering if you're going to have we, we haven't cafe purchased shops it gym. yet. <laughs> we have it on order. They're just ready yeah. to go whenever we get approval. Um, Actually, our frame is made, but they could sell it to somebody else if you don't approve us. <laughs> uh, sure. And there's also going to be an awning over the sets of windows on either side. I missed up on that one. No. Oh, okay. No, no just the I got my staff reports mixed up. That was actually for the next one. Yeah, well, I actually uh, saw that. And I thought, he did. How odd that two millions are doing the I same thing. I apologize. That's what happens when you have a similar request and you cut and paste it. That's yeah. But what yeah. I did try to do is put something together that, that did resemble everything else that's in town. So we didn't go out and, and make anything crazy. It's just very clean and yeah, nice. straightforward. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. You have any questions? I like the dots. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I would read. My, I would read the thing through, and as in like. You want the dots? No, i will just say cafe shop gym is what it sounds. I stop for a second, and go. Oh, <laughs> it's three separate things. So you're going to the, you're going to the cafe shop gym, right? Cafe well, you have gym. to come by and see. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's absolutely. Fantastic. What kind I, of food I, are you serving? Thank yeah, you. It is. What kind of food, Janet? Come up here, Janet. We hate to just put you, but you know, this it's is a gym. Yeah. It's probably yeah. healthy. This is free advertising. This is free advertising. There's 12 people watching. watching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I own Oki Cookies Catering. <coughs> what, sorry, um, say that again. I own Oki Cookies Catering. We've been around for years in Oklahoma. I do about 150 weddings a year, plus things for the Masonic Temple, and been in Guthrie a while. Um, we will be serving a buffet mm -hmm. of homestyle meals, mm -hmm. like on Monday, meatloaf, mashed potatoes. Go on. Tuesday. <laughs> 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 um, 
We make clothes. Open face for us to be sandwiches. <laughs> so Try <laughs> classical homestyle cooking. Uh -huh. And then we also are offering healthy resources plus meal prepping for people with dietary issues. Mm -hmm. And then we are starting a um, program called Feed the Beast, Damp Out Childhood Hunger mm -hmm. in Guthrie. We did something with the, what would we do last week? Homecoming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Homecoming. Oh, yeah. Homecoming. Oh, yeah, that was a week ago, I'm sorry. We gave away a bunch of hot dogs, chili dogs, and mm. hot and candy. All the kids came by and got something to eat. So, so she's saying That's meatloaf's not healthy? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go back to the meatloaf. Go back meatloaf. to the meatloaf. <laughs> okay, like Friday, I'm thinking wings, hot wings. Mm -hmm. Just a buffet, all you can eat. And then if you want, like, nutritional salads and stuff, we have that on the menu, too. We are also opening a uh, nutrition bar where for drinks and... Wow. Um, like protein drinks? Protein drinks. How much construction are you having to do on the inside? Um, are you having to do much construction on the inside? We don't have any construction on the inside. Mm. My kitchen is right behind this building at 312 East West Oklahoma. Oh. So. Okay. Well, if the, the, you know, I had the opportunity. The I had the opportunity to go in it a couple of weeks ago, and I hadn't been in there since Dr. Ringrose's office was open, but it looked like there was a lot of things. Um, new flooring, mm -hmm. at least since. Oh, we made it pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there may not be construction, but. but the, we made I've it never pretty. been in there. So. The spa area is beautiful, and the gym is big, and the cafe up front. I, uh, I was there before you started moving um, the, the um, gas pumps. Oh. And okay. So it's real vintage inside. They've got gas pumps and, you know, those. Like Vix has over here. <laughs> <laughs> Gas yeah. pumps. Huh. Yeah. I have to check this out for Jerry. Yeah. Did they okay. Do a lot of things like after yes. okay, that's, that's I don't think we that's the end of our shameless plug for you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't I don't think we actually have, I don't think we did we approve I don't think we technically approved them, so we need to No we haven't. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I just say we need a motion and a second. Motion to okay. approve? I'll okay. second. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Joe Chappell? Yes. Nathan Turner? Yes. Maneka Gibbs? Yes. Valerie Duncan? Yes. Daryl Covington? Yes. Aaron Rooney? Yes. And Adam Rock? Yes. All right, 7 0. <clears throat> Item agenda number six HPC application 22 010 discussion and potential action on a request for a certificate of appropriateness for a new door and tree canopy with business logo for a building located at 107 West Harrison Avenue. We have a staff report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, once again, we have a building that didn't have anything in it, now has a business in it, so that's always exciting. Uh, this is the old leader building. Uh, it's right there, right by the vape shop, uh, 107 West uh, Harrison Avenue. Uh, there's a boutique that has uh, moved into that space, and so they're looking to put a canopy over their door entry uh, that will have their logo, which you have in there, uh, and that, and then they're going to have canopies on the other two sets of windows to each side. Uh, in that, I think if you, I had a picture of the leader building. Aaron, you want to put the picture of the building? Yeah. So there'll be a canopy over the set of the three windows and then another canopy over the set of the five windows and then one in the main entrance. So it'll look similar to Vision Source, what they did, where they have one kind of in the middle and then two on each side, or one on each side. Really? Yeah. Instead of just one long one? Yeah, instead of one long one, there'll be three separate ones uh, in that. And the applicant, uh, unfortunately, could not make it. Uh, that's why she's not here. In that so I told her that uh, hopefully everything will go well but uh, like I said the best example is probably like at vision source what they did so nothing over that last door only no. two sets of windows yeah all of them. yes all yeah of the windows right but, but not over the door over to the east door. yeah yeah the far door okay and the ones over the windows will just be black? Yes, because all of them will be the black canvas 
Yeah, I believe it's the same company that's doing the ring rows. But it'll be all the black canvas. Yep. Huh. And then the logo will actually be what it is on there, the color logo that they have for their uh, boutique. Will the logo only be over the door portion? or Yes, because the other canvas? ones will not have the logo. They'll just be the canopy. OK. Any, any discussion? Or? I think we just did, right? Yeah, anybody want to make a motion or we anybody want to comments? I'll make a motion. I'll approve it. Okay, you go. Who's Nathan? Nathan. Okay. Second. Anybody want to second this? I'll second it. Okay. Joe Chappell? Yes. Nathan Turner? Yes. Maneka Gibbs? Yes. Valerie Duncan? Yes. Daryl Covington? Yes. Aaron Rooney? Yes. And Adam Rob. Yes. All right. Seven zero. All right. Do we have any staff comments? Uh, the I was just going to mention, as you probably seen, we have a new commission member, Manek Gibbs. She was appointed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she was appointed uh, a couple, two, three city councils ago. The last month's meeting was canceled uh, in that, so this is the first meeting. But I just wanted to uh, introduce her mm -hmm. in that. I realize I probably should have that like at the beginning because <laughs> I kind of forget. But anyway, but anyway, welcome to the commission, Maneka. Thank you. All right. Um, commissioner comments. <clears throat> since I'm new, I actually do have one. Um, since my business is located on uh, West Oklahoma and I do have a lot of traffic that does walk up and down the street. Um, I did notice that there's been construction on 208 West Oklahoma, uh, which had started and then stopped. Uh, that was the old Ring Rose. Oh, yes. Yes. Right. Yes, the clinic. Um, also noticed that the specs are not exactly what was previously uh, agreed to by the commission. Did you notice that or did somebody tell she, you? No. No one. Okay. I, <laughs> I have eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, an update for yes, you. Yes, please. That would be awesome. They're not finished. Clearly. Yes. <laughs> I have been in contact with them. One of the things that they were waiting for was the weather to be a little bit cooler because they didn't think painting in the heat was going to be beneficial. Uh, the owner was not aware that like the window sills, for instance, uh, were not the sandstone that were previously there and they were just brick. So he said he was going to look into that and have them uh, change that. Uh, I told them otherwise, if they were not going to, they would have to come back to you to see if that was appropriate or they could basically plead their case, so to speak. But at this point, they're going to try or they're going to make it to what was approved. And there will be the canopy as approved, too. That just hasn't been put up there. So it's taking longer than even I would like, but there's at least been progress from what was there previously. What were you going to say? The old Ring Rose building is what we're talking about. Are you talking about cast stone? Yes. Or sandstone? Yeah, cast stone. I have stone. my hearing aid yes. on. Oh, no, yeah, but they had the cast stone. That's what they had on there. Because right now they just have the brick that was on the siding. Or that they put on the outside. I keep saying sandstone as well, too. It's not. Right. Yeah, either yeah. one. It's yeah. something besides the, the yeah. actual brick yeah. facade. Yeah. Right, and it is cast stone. So what were they going to paint? The whole front. The whole front of the building. Yeah, black, because that's what was approved. Uh, and the canopy will be black. It says black brick veneer, which is not painted. It doesn't yeah, but in the meeting it was discussed to be painted, and so that's what ended up happening. Uh, yeah. That's not veneer, though, right? No. No, it'll be painted brick. And then they did, and they did, unfortunately, put windows in that were smaller than what? I think they're slightly smaller. Uh, in that I did not measure them. Uh, I don't know if that's a, my concern was the ledge, the canopy, and the painting more than uh, the windows. The windows are not, if you want to say inappropriate, let's put it that way, even though they might be slightly smaller. Uh, was there, just a quick question, was there 
no reason as to why they couldn't match the blonde brick on the top of the facade of the building or just that's just what they proposed to do cool black on the black bottom painting black yeah okay yeah <clears throat> okay well anybody else no 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 Thank All right. you for the update. No problem. I appreciate it. Welcome that. aboard. Yeah. By the way. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your store. For sure. Okay. Meeting adjourned.